I am trying to build an air raid siren and the first thing I need is a hub for the rotor to attach to the motor, which I'm making on the table saw. A uh, nail acts as the key so the shaft can spin the rotor. I glued a bunch of wooden wedges onto a plywood disc for one layer of the rotor. Let's see how that spins. I'm going to add a second layer to this rotor to make two notes. I'm trimming the edges by rotating against the spinning saw blade to make sure the layers are exactly concentric. Now I need to make a bunch more of those veins. This layer has 10 veins as opposed to 6 for the previous layer and I'm marking out the layout for where they go, then gluing them on. I put a marble where the shaft goes and then I'm balancing it on a block of wood to see which side is heaviest. And just balancing that with a piece of wood as a weight tells me how much wood I need to cut off on the other side. I drilled a bunch of holes on the heavy side to bring it into balance. I'm adding a shim made from an aluminum can to make the rotor fit more tightly on the motor's shaft. My next test is on the floor so I can't fall off the workbench. It doesn't make any siren sounds yet because I still need to make a stator to go around the rotor which will make the airflow coming out of it intermittent. Here's my first stator layer with six ports. The way this works is when the rotor goes in there and the veins act like a fan and the air is thrown centrifugally out of it, but the uh, veins don't always line up with the ports, so sometimes the air can come out and sometimes it can't, causing pulsating flows of air, which makes the sound. Got the first layer of the stator ready to try out. Now let's try it with a second stator layer. Ooh, siren like already. So it should get a lot louder once I spin it up to full speed, but uh, just with claps like that, I'm too afraid it's going to wreck itself. I made a sturdier bracket to hold the stator, and I need to center that stator around the rotor, and for that I'm just going to stick a few shims in there to position it before I screw it on. I painted it dark blue to give it more of an ominous look. So I brought my siren out to the country and it's back there at the end of the extension cord because I'm not sure about testing it in the city. So uh, let's see, here it goes. Not deafeningly loud, especially at a good distance. 